Well, the state will officially be taking over Providence schools. The Council on Elementary and Secondary Education voted in favor of the move tonight after a scathing report by Johns Hopkins University researchers which found the school district was in crisis. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin joins us now with what tonight's vote means for students and their parents and what happens next. Caroline? Well, Shady to Mike, the Education Commissioner says she expects the state's takeover to be complete by sometime in late October or early November after a legal process is complete. And that process includes allowing city leaders here in Providence to object to the takeover. But as of right now, Providence Mayor Jorge Alorza says he stands behind it. Aye. Rhode Island's Education Commissioner, another step closer to taking control of Providence Public Schools after a vote by the state's Council on Elementary and Secondary Education Tuesday night. I'm very excited. I feel like we just witnessed history. Um, and now I feel nervous because it's got to get done. Education Commissioner Angelica Infante Green says once the state has control of the district, it can intervene in the budget, programs, and personnel because of a 1997 law called the Crowley Act. Infante Green tells us her job will be to reimagine what Providence schools look like, to get rid of any overlapping bureaucracy, and to create higher standards. It doesn't have to look the way it does today. Clearly what we have today has not worked. This push for state intervention comes in the wake of a scathing Johns Hopkins report on Providence schools, labeling them among the worst in the nation. After that report, nine public forums were held. The commissioner says 1,100 people attended, sharing comments like this. We don't even let animals live in the conditions that are present in our schools. Have you ever had to sit in a room and work when you only can smell as the owner of a dead rat somewhere? I have. Infante Green says she's still developing plans for the district. But while she waits for the state to officially take over, several initiatives will be put in place for the start of the school year, targeted at changing school culture, tracking absenteeism, and creating a cell phone policy. So what you will see in the next few months is benchmarks that we all need to meet short-term and long-term. The scores will change with time. That's not something that you're going to see an immediate shift. However, you're going to start seeing a shift in all the other things that lead to better outcomes and a better school environment. So the process for the state to take control of Providence Public Schools should take about 90 days. Once it does, the Education Commissioner tells us she plans to appoint her own superintendent to lead the district. Her pick would likely replace Fran Gallo, who's slated to be appointed the interim superintendent by the school board in the coming weeks. Reporting live in Providence tonight, I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.